Welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you an interesting website that allows you to turn 2D images into 3D objects. Let's get started. Okay, so just go to monstermash.zone and you should find this empty canvas. Currently we are in the draw mode, so we can draw anything on here that we want. I'm just gonna draw a random shape in order to show you what this is all about. So once you're happy with your shape, click on inflate and it will turn your drawing into this 3D object. You can move this around and you can see that this is a bit wobbly. And we can even animate this, uh, this shape. So just go to animate and here we can left click on the mesh in order to add those dots that we can then move around. And to animate it, just press the record button, select the dot and move it around and the movement will be recorded. So let's record again and also animate this other dot and also do it with the third one. Okay, so that's just a random animation, but if you wanted to export this, you can go up here and choose export animation as gltf file. Uh, we're gonna do this later, but first I want to show you another cool thing that you can do with Monster Mesh, which is to convert a 2D image into a 3D object. So for this, let's click on new project and start from scratch. And this time I'm gonna import a template image and I'm gonna choose this Rhino that I downloaded. And first I just wanna draw along this base shape. So just draw along the body. And I'm not gonna include the legs for now because we're gonna add them in separate shapes. So here we have the base shape. Let's then draw the legs. like this and also the other leg okay and now the thing is that we have draw we have only one leg per side now but we want to have one in front and one in the back and i can't draw the one in the back from here so what i do is i select this leg and double click on it so that it becomes red and Monster Mash knows that it has to create two of them, one in the front and one in the back. Let's also do it with the back leg. And when I click on inflate, you can see that we get this textured mesh. This looks far from perfect, but uh, I think we can use it as a background element and we can also further improve this in Blender to make it look a bit better. But I also want to add the ears, so let's go back to draw and draw a basic shape around the ear, double click to make it red and go back to inflate. So now we also have these ears. If you wanted, you could also animate it, but I'm not gonna do this for now. I'm just gonna export it as a GLTF file so we can import it into Blender. So we don't have any animation, so we can leave this at zero frames and click export. So let's save this to my desktop, then open up Blender. Uh, let's delete everything, we don't need this. Close the timeline, let me enable the screencast keys so you can see the shortcuts that I'm pressing. And now to import the GLTF file, go up to File, Import, and here you should have the GLTF option. If you don't have this available, go to Edit, Preferences, and in the Add-ons tab, search for GL, GLTF, and make sure that you have this checkbox text, ticked, so that, uh, that you can import those files. So go to File, Import, GLTF, locate the file, select it and import. Now in order to see the textures, you could either switch to the textured view 
or even better switch to the viewport shading menu. Now let's improve those legs a bit. So I tap into edit mode, select any vertex on the leg and press Ctrl L to select all the connected vertices. Then I want to move this in a bit. Let's also do it with this Ctrl L to select the whole leg, bring it in. Then also fix the back, back legs, Control L. Let's bring it in, Control L, G, Y. And yeah, this already looks way better once we have the legs brought inside. And I think we could definitely use this as a background element in our scene. But let's also fix the ears. So let's select them, Control L, G, Control L, G, Y, and bring this in here. So now this looks pretty good. I want to also bring this to the world origin. So let's bring this mesh up here. Go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And maybe we could also improve this texture. So let's open up a shader editor. And here we have this basic BSDF setup with, uh, with just an image texture. So let's add in a bump map, the normal into the normal and use the color, the image texture for the height. Just to give it a bit of surface details. Now this is way too strong. So let's bring the strength down to something at point one. Maybe point 0.2. And yeah, I think this looks pretty good. But let's also plug this into the roughness. And I want to invert this. So let's search for the color ramp node. And I switch the black and white stops. I'll increase the contrast a bit. So we just have a bit of glossiness. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this result and I think this came out pretty good. If you are interested in more quick tips like the one in this video, I have a recommendation for you. Together with the Blender Bros, I recorded a course containing 497 useful tips for Blender users. In total, we have more than 10 hours of content ready for you. It will be released this Friday but you can already get a free sample version with 27 tips. Click the link in the description if you are interested. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.